Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Today it's going to be Greg Abbott. He's the governor of Texas, the fellow who rules Texas from a wheelchair. I'll tell you a little bit about him as I read it right off of Wiki, and then we'll get into a draw. I want to know, is he going to run for president? Is Greg Abbott going to run for president? Okay, so this is going to be about Greg Abbott. He is the current governor of Texas. And right off of Wiki, it tells us his name is Gregory Wayne Abbott. He's born on November 13th, 1957, same year I was born, except I was in October. Uh, he's a, an attorney, a politician. He's the 48th governor of uh, Texas since 2015. He's a member of the Republican Party, and he's the fifth attorney general of Texas. He had been the 50th, I'm sorry, the 50th attorney general of Texas from 2002 to 2015, and he's the third governor of any U.S. state to permanently use a wheelchair. He's also the first governor in Texas history with a known disability. He was elected governor in 2014, re-elected in 2018 with 59 and 50 percent of the vote, uh, respectively. And um, so there we go. That's a little bit quick uh, on that uh, piece of Greg Ad Abbott. But let's talk about uh, who is he, where did he come from, and how did he get in a wheelchair. So his early life um, let's see here. Uh, his mother was a stay-at-home uh, mom. His uh, dad was a stockbroker and an insurance agent. And when he was six years old, they moved. Uh, oh, he was born in Wichita Falls, uh, Texas. Is that right? Yeah, Wichita Falls, Texas. And uh, when um, he was six years old, the whole family moved to East Texas for six years. And at the beginning of the junior high school, Abbott's family moved to Duncanville, Texas. In his sophomore uh, year of high school, his father died of a heart attack. And his mother went to work in real estate in a real estate office, rather, and uh, he graduated from Duncan uh, High School, um, consequently. Uh, he was on the track team and uh, in the National Honor Society, voted most likely to succeed, and he certainly has. In 1981, he earned a bachelor degree of business administration and finance from the University of Texas uh, at Austin, and he was a member of the uh, Delta Ta Delta Fraternity, I don't know what all that is, and the Young Republicans Club. He met his wife, uh, Cecilia, while attending UT Austin. And in 1984, he earned his Juris Doctor degree uh, so, uh, from the Vanderbilt University of Law School in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, how he came to be in a wheelchair, on July 14, 1984, at the age of 26, remember, he'd been a runner, uh, he was paralyzed from uh, below the waist when an oak tree fell on him while he was jogging following a storm. Uh, he had two steel rods implanted in his spine and underwent extensive rehabilitation. And uh, he sued the homeowner and the tree service company. And he gets an insettlement, uh, insurance settlement that provides him with a lump sum payment every three years until 2022, along with monthly payments for life. Both are adjusted to keep up with the rising cost of inflation. And then as of 2013, the monthly payment amount was uh, $14,000, just the monthly payment amount. And he says he relies on that money for uh, uh, medical expenses and other costs uh, related to that. And he went into private practice in uh, between 1984 and 1992 as a lawyer for Butler and Binion. Now, his judicial career began in Houston. He served as a state trial judge. And uh, let's see, let me skip through a lot of this and try to get through really interesting stuff. Um, in uh, 1996 for two years, 1998 for six years, and in 1996 he had no Democratic opponent but was challenged by a Libertarian. Uh, let's see, he resigned the Supreme Court in, 19, in 2001, went back to private practice, practice as a lawyer, uh, and, and also was an adjunct professor at Texas University School of Law. So he's no slouch. 2002 he resigned from the Texas Supreme Court to seek the position of Lieutenant Governor of, Te Governor of Texas, and um, let's see where John Cornyn had vacated that post to run for the U.S. Senate. Then he switched his campaign to open the attorney general position in 2002. Abbott defeated the Democratic nominee, and, uh, and uh, there you go. Let's see, tenure. Let me read through this quickly before I spout it all out to you. In uh, 2003, Abbott supported the Texas legislature move to cap non-economic damages for medical malpractice cases. Interesting, uh, at $250,000 with no built-in increases for rising, cost, rising costs of living. It's a shame. Um, in 2013, in a speech to federal Republicans, he asked what job, uh, what, when asked what his job entails, he said, I go into the office in the morning, I sue Barack Obama, and then I go home. 
He filed 31 lawsuits against the Obama administration, including suits against the Environmental Protection Agency, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, including challenges to the Affordable Care Act and the U.S. Department of Education, among many others. And um, so, very interesting. Um, he, he, wow. Texas sued the Obama administration at least 44 times more than any other state over the same period. Amazing. So we can see what would happen if he did run for president. Um, I'm going to skip through a bunch of this stuff, and I think we're going to go right to the reading. He, I'll tell you what he opposes. Um, he supports a ban on sex toys. <laughs> he uh, is opposed to same-sex marriage. Um, let's see what else here. And, um, you know, he's just a, a dyed-in-the-wool Republican. So let's go to the cards and see what they tell us about whether Mr. Greg Abbott will run for president. And I think my, my, my conscious brain says I think he's going to, but let's see what the cards just say. We'll just read it like that. So this is the Revival Art Tarot by Turaco, Turaco or Turacho, I'm not sure, Studios. Uh, this is a deck that comes to me somehow, I think from Russia via Norway. But um, they're beautiful cards. They were a little pricey, and um, but I love to use them. There are lots of art. The guidebook that comes with them, Revival Art Guidebook, is, um, you know, leaves a lot to be desired. You know, you can't really read it. It's tiny, tiny print. But on the uh, upside, there's nothing in here that's particularly um, earth shattering as far as how to use the cards for divination. So, you know, no loss that it's a bad uh, guidebook. However, the cards are just amazing. And uh, the art goes right to the edge on these cards. They're really beautiful, and I love using them. And, uh, you know, I do this to sort of sort of mix up the cards and to give folks who don't uh, purchase tarot cards or look at uh, full decks of tarot cards very often the chance to see, you know, more of what the deck looks like. Otherwise, you just kind of see the first few, uh, the first, only the cards that are uh, dealt or that are turned over. So there you go. Uh, that's this uh, Taracho Revival Art Studio uh, deck. And I think they're beautiful, and I love using them. Um, they are pretty, pretty cool. So, Greg Abbott. Greg Abbott. It's so interesting that a fella who, as a matter of fact, himself... Uh, was damaged uh, and uh, benefits from uh, the laws that were put in place before he opposed them uh, regarding his uh, payments for having been um, uh, put into a wheelchair by an oak tree that fell off somebody's property and hit him while he was jogging. But uh, so his his uh, payments get adjusted for cost of living. But he says no no no. When we're talking about other folks, no, they can't have that. So let's do just a real quick. A read on Greg Abbott. Will he run for president? I'm going to take six right off the top and then we'll finish it with another four. Because the last four, I'm going to ask, will he be successful? Five and six. So, Greg Abbott. Greg Abbott. Who'd have thunk? So, the signifier card for Will Greg Abbott run for president? 2024. The signifier card is the king of wands, so he's the king of action, motion, planning. So it looks like he's got a great big plan in the works. Let's see if it's for that. The challenge to that then is gonna be the page of wands. So the challenge to the page of wands is some smaller uh, action, some smaller plan, some smaller um, uh, messenger bring to the court, um, some other plan um, about running for President. So it looks to me like he will run for president and was challenging that is a smaller plan. So there may be some other public office, perhaps, uh, that he um, that would uh, could possibly be his alternative for running for president, maybe governor again. In the base of this reading, then, is the full card. So the full card is starting a new journey, starting over again. So that's where he is at the base of his psyche, uh, knowing that probably he needs to start a new cycle. 
And then in the past of this, the King of Cups, which is odd because cups are emotion, 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 compassion, um, and uh, and the King of Cups would have been the master of all of that. So I'm not sure how that plays into this reading, but we'll keep going. In the sky for this reading, then, is the Emperor, and that's what he wants to be. He wants to be the fellow who is completely in charge, which really supports my, my idea that he's probably going to run for uh, for president. But, gosh, i got to keep my, my own... Uh, biases out of this and that's a little difficult to do actually in the uh, likely outcome for this first part of this Celtic cross are the uh, nine of wands and that's really in battle this is so someone who's been to the battle and is really worn out it's interesting that this fellow is even sitting down like sadly Greg Abbott has to do all the time but this um, nine of wands uh, typically shows us someone who's been uh, in battle but is ready to get up and keep going the self, the self of this reading for Greg Abbott, the self of him, will he uh, be successful in his run for president in 2024? Because these cards really tell me that that's what he's going to do. Let's see here. We'll back this up a bit. Take this one right here. The self of that is the Ace of Cups. So that's a great big offer of compassion, emotion. He must feel, I want to say that he probably feels very strongly about this. And uh, perhaps he is very, very entrenched in his convictions that make him be the perfect governor for Texas. Um, the environment that that's in, however, is strength. Oh, yeah. He's, he's got a great big offer of uh, emotions, uh, and, and those are in the environment of a lot of strength. And I will say that for this man. The hopes and the fears for this are the Two of Cups partnerships. So that tells us that uh, hopefully, from his point of view, he'll find the right partnership to further his cause, if, in fact, he does that. Now, will he be successful in a bid for the presidency if he does that in 2024. The likely outcome, wow, is the Ace of Wands. So that's the Ace of Wands or Action Motion Planning. And uh, the Ace is just a great big push in that direction. It doesn't say that he will be successful, but it says he's got a great big uh, good chance of doing it. I'm going to draw just three more cards out of this uh, deck to try to clarify that. So, And I'm going to shuffle them up first before I do that, just to see... If it'll give us a definite yes or no, will Greg Abbott be successful if he runs for president? Will Greg Abbott be successful if he runs for president? So if Greg Abbott runs for president in 2024, will he be successful? We need three cards. We'll take one from deep in here, right there. The first card for that is a star. Wow. I mean, that's a big yes card. Um, I should stop right there. I'm going to go two more. The uh, next card is going to be the King, uh, the Knight of Wands. So the Knight is the is the enforcer of the royal family and Wands are actions and planning. So he intends to push this for everything that he's got. And then the last clarifier for that will be the world. And that is uh, the end of a cycle and the beginning of another one. Dad Gummit, I think if he runs for president, he's got a very good chance of making it all the way. There we go. So I asked the question, will Greg Abbott run for president? And uh, what I get out of that is on the first uh, six cards of this, the outcome, I've got so many cards layered here, the outcome of that, uh, or rather in the sky for that, is the wish to be the emperor. You know, he's shooting for the sky, and that would be the uh, uh, an emperor-style president, by the way, if that's what he did. Um, and then uh, with the likely outcome of that, however, to be a an embattled uh, nine of wands really beat up but then I asked will he be successful will he be successful and I got a great big uh, ace of cups which is a great big offer of, of emotion and passion he may get the emotions of the country behind him on that in the environment of strength I mean this man is a tough cookie and then the um, two of cups finding the right partnerships that's what his hopes would be and then the final outcome was the ace of wands which says, you know, I mean, look, there's the crown right there. You know, it says that uh, it looks like it, he would be successful, but I don't know. I couldn't believe it, so I, I chose three, or I didn't choose. I pulled three clarifier cards. The first one being the star, you know, that's that's a big yes card. The second one being the uh, knight of wands. That's a fellow who's willing to fight for his plans. And the third one being new starts uh, or ending of a cycle and beginning of another. And actually, the world card. So, geez, I think he might do it. So I'm Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Come on back tomorrow. We'll do the whole thing again. Ciao for now.